Who are you real with? Hey, brothers and sisters, it's Pastor Samuel. All of us as human beings desire real, deep, intimate relationship. Sometimes we find that with our oldest friends, someone who knew you growing up. Sometimes you find it with your spouse if you're married or maybe with your mother or father or brother or sister, a family member. But where is the best place to be real? Where is the one place we can be most authentic, we can be most transparent, we can be our true selves? I was reading this story in Exodus chapter 34 last week, and I saw this picture of true authenticity, of the place for our realness in the story of Moses. It's the second time that Moses receives the Ten Commandments. The first time he got them, then he broke them when he saw the children of Israel going wild and sinning with the golden calf. So he goes back up in the mountain, he chisels out more tablets, and God gives him the commandments again. He has this deep, rich, intimate time with God, and he comes back down. And it says that when Moses came down from the mountain, it's at the very end of Exodus chapter 34, it says when Moses came down from the mountain, he was unaware that the skin on his face shone, Exodus 34, 30. And so he tells the people God's commands. Then it says after that in verse 33, he put a veil over his face. And it seems like maybe for the rest of his life, Moses would wear this veil whenever he was around the children of Israel. And so they could kind of see his face, but kind of not because there was this glory and it was freaking people out because he's shown. But when he went in, it says a couple of verses later, when he goes in to the presence of God, when he goes back in to be with the Lord, the veil comes off. And I believe that's not only a true account of what happened, but it's also a symbolic picture of how we should be with the Lord. Moses was called God's friend. Moses was so close to God. It said he spoke to God face to face. And after this deep encounter, when he reached a certain maturity, when he had this certain experience with God, God was the one who truly saw his face. God was the one who truly knew Moses. Probably, definitely more than his family members. Aaron's scared when he sees the glow, even more than his wife, even more than his friends. God knew Moses, and Moses knew God, and Moses could be real and open with the Lord. Where is your realness? Where is your authenticity? Who are you the most real with? When something deep happens in your life, who do you call? When you're struggling with someone, with something, who's the person that you talk to? We need to reserve our realness. We need to give our authenticity, our true selves, first and foremost to God. He's the safe place. He's the one that you share with. When you're struggling, when you're in temptation, bring it instead of maybe to that person that you're tempted to, first and foremost, bring it to God. Be real with God.